Hi, I'm Mandy and I'm going to show you how our new water resistant ink that we've made at FWG can be used to paint non-metallic surfaces so that they can be copper plated. First I'm going to run through some of the items that we're going to need. Now I'm using copper sulphate which is easily available on eBay but you could use copper formate or copper acetate which also has copper 2 ions in it. Now I've weighed out 125 grams of the copper sulphate and measured out 500 millilitres of deionized water. Now you need to warm up the water but you can put it into a microwave but I've got mine here on the mechanical stirrer which is almost dissolved and it's only been about five minutes. Now while that's dissolving I'll show you what I'm going to copper plate. Now I'm going to copper plate these minion erasers. Now you have to bear in mind that if you're going to copper plate something which may be porous or oily, you need to either varnish it or wash it in acetone. So I've cleaned my minion in acetone and I've put a brass screw in the back as it's highly conductive so it's easier to attach the cathode to. And I've also super glued his legs on so that he's not legless. And now I'm going to paint him with our conductive ink. So I've put some into a tub here and I'll give him maybe two, possibly three coats. And as we've got to plenty of little minions running around here, I've grabbed another one earlier and this one here has had three coats on it. You won't need any more than three coats with our water resistant conductive ink. And you can either leave it to dry naturally for an hour or so, or you can use a hair dryer on a cool setting um, for five to ten minutes. So we're testing to see how conductive it is, and look what we've got here. Just over 450 or oh, 500 ohms, that is fantastic. The best I've seen on YouTube is 1.2 kilo ohms. This is brilliant. So now we need to make our anode. And all I used was a small piece of copper pipe, which I uh, split down the side with a Dremel tool and then opened it up and planished it using a hammer. And once it was flat, I just filed down the edges so that there was no sharp edges and cleaned it with some wire wool. So now that we've got that made, it's time to put it all together. Right, I've gathered all my items that I need together. I'm going to put a couple of saccharine in the copper sulphate solution to act as a brightener. Let's give that a little stir. Right, so now we need to put the copper into the copper sulphate solution and I need to suspend the minion which is acting as the cathode into the copper sulphate right wind that round there make a little hook see if this fits yay actually I might wind that right round I want something for the alligator clip to clip onto. There we are. Right. I need two wires here. With they've both got alligator clips at either end. You can use any colour wires, but I tend to use red and black because it's easy for me to remember that I'm going to have the red as the positive, which is the. So I'm going to clip this here, which is the anode. Move this a bit closer. And then I'm going to clip the black one to the cathode. No, I'm going to put that the other way around. I don't want them coming into contact with each other. So I'm using a DC power supply here, but you could also use one of these 1.5 volt batteries. 
and then attach the alligator clips to either end. I've put back, um, magnets on the end here, but you can tape them. And that's all ready to go. So I'm going to switch it on. And that should be turned the bolts right down. So it's best to go low and slow. So I'm going to do two volts to start with. And then gradually as the time goes on, the amps will increase. So this is going to take quite some time to copper plate, so I'm going to leave it for a few hours. And every half hour or an hour or so, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that it gets an even coating of copper. But what you could do is use an aquarium pump so that the bubbles go through the copper sulphate and help the ions move all the time. So let's leave it for a few hours and we'll come back to it and see what's happened. Hi, so Mandy asked me to do this little bit and here it is after it's been electroplated. And you can see it's got a nice salmon pink colour and it's lovely coated all over the whole surface. Now the key to electroplating is take your time. It's all about current density. Because current density equals a number of electrons available which will relate directly to the mass of copper. So the copper ion travels to this negatively charged one, picks up a couple of electrons and becomes the copper metal, which deposits on here. If you do that too quickly, that is your current is too high, then what you'll get is kind of a, a red-brown deposition, and it'll form dendrites, it'll be quite a mess. What you want is this nice salmon pink colour, and you get that from a very low, slow process. Now, we put this about 50 milliamps. In order to get that 50 milliamps, we set the voltage at 0.8 of a volt, and so that's taken two days to do. Giving it a couple of days like that means that you get a lovely plate, particularly on something that's got a complex surface with lots of high points like this. If you have a flat surface, you can up the current density a little bit. Anything with this kind of intricate shape, if you want to follow the shape, you need a relatively low current density and lots of time. Just leave it. It'll do it all by itself. Now this needs a polish, so I'll go and I'll give this a polish with a Dremel and it'll have its nice coppery colour instead of this salmon pink colour. But this salmon pink colour is what you're looking for when it comes out of the bath. So all you do is give it a polish up. I've got a Dremel so I'll use that, but you could use your hands I suppose and it comes out the nice coppery shine you'd expect. So I'm going to continue with that and finish it. And there it is, our finished electroplated copper minion. Well, I'm really pleased with that result. So now you can see just how easy it is to use our water-resistant ink to electroplate and electroform. And it's now for sale in our shop. Please follow the link below. We hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for listening.